thing. But you know, what I want to do now is, is move forward because um, the energy is actually pretty high in this space right now. And so it's kind of a good time for me to kind of be present uh, with the energy. So within the email that you received that one of the things that was going to be taking place today was um, sort of this divine intuitive group and individual assessment. So I just want to speak to this briefly. So this is really about me kind of receiving some insights uh, for you all as individuals and group dynamics. Um, and this may be about where you need to prioritize or focus in the present. It also could be like if you are stuck in a certain area or where you're creating great momentum. It's just things that will be uh, relevant to what's emerging for you. So I just want to take a moment uh, just to be uh, present first with a couple of things or so that may come up just for the group. And then afterwards, I'll be sort of present individually with each of you. It won't take long um, just to sort of see what comes up. So just give me a moment, okay? Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is I'll actually write down a few things that that up. We'll be present with the space here. Okay. All right. So there's actually three <laughs> things that um, let me jot this down really quick. Okay, so there's like three things that have come up um, so far, and more could, but this is just initially three things that, that popped in, and this is for everyone, so it's the group dynamics. So it's important right now that the place in which you're coming from, okay, the, the energy and the vibration where you're coming from, so that was something that came up first, the importance of the place you're coming from. So basically, this is about the vibrational starting point with your creations and launching of endeavors. So when you are uh, creating or working on things and you start launching, it's going to be best to be mindful of why you're doing what you're doing and meaning um, kind of the best way I guess I could explain this is if you're trying to change something um, or you're desperate maybe to do something, then where you're coming from is a place of maybe something missing or lacking in your experience. Or it could even be around the vibration. I'm not sure if this will work. Um, then that would mean that you're coming sort of from a place of not trusting or scarcity, um, not feeling aligned with source power. Uh, or source supply. So, I mean, that's just kind of a general example. Uh, another thing is that is sort of coming up is that if you're feeling like everything that you're doing are the next best steps as you're creating, um, then actually what you're doing is you're opening yourself up to be this gateway for infinite potential and possibilities to uh, unfold and be in flow. So, again, as mentioned previously, it's best to be mindful of the place that you're coming from as you're engaging um, in the processes because this is actually going to determine your success rate. And so I know most of you are desiring to be in this accelerated uh, fashion right now. And I really feel that that's the vibration really collectively for everybody that it is time to uh, accelerate and those were actually some core themes that came up um, I believe within our first call where King Joseph was talking about uh, acceleration time and King Rob mentioned about this sort of advancement that came up for him um, but it was um, that vibration really was collective uh, you know for everyone so can everyone hear me so far yes thank you yep Yep. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Uh, another thing that came in was about it's time to dig in and, and I was here dive deep. So basically, each of you will have to discover 
uh, where you need to strengthen your commitments or your priorities and really start to accurately immerse yourself in the process uh, because this is going to help you to far exceed anything that you've ever achieved. So there are manifestations that are right and ready, right? So some of the things that may even seem far off, um, they're actually already present. And it's really just a matter of taking notice, maybe seeing some things differently, um, starting to execute uncommonly possibly taking new approaches and then really starting to uh, move in right inspired timing because that's very, very critical. And that's something actually within the media and entrepreneurial chess that uh, I highly focus on is that setup is great and having execution strategies are, are fine, but it is really the timing and being intuitive with uh, how to make the next best move. Uh, because I found that sometimes when you move out of alignment or you don't move in the synchronicity of that right timing, the results are drastically different. <laughs> I, I, I know that to be a fact. Um, so, yeah, so dig in and dive deep uh, with something else, like I said, that came up. Um, also something that came up, which is not interesting to me because it's actually something that I was going to be talking about, uh, and I think I actually mentioned it early before we uh, actually got started was that um, new customized format. And so that's, like I said, that's something I'm actually going to be talking about a little bit later. So that's not surprising that that sort of is, is something that came through. Um, so basically, even though there's this uh, collective agenda with the mastermind, okay, but there's a lot of individuality in formats that are starting to emerge. And that's probably why some of you are feeling like, you know, I'm not getting these challenges done, uh, <laughs> you know, in the uh, time that's set. And because the structure, everything that's starting to take place is sort of coming into this uh, new alignment to be customized and, and sort of individualized basically for uh, everything that you have that's going on. So, um, so I know I'm going to be able to talk about that, um, you know, a little bit later. So I'm thinking, I'm feeling that that's pretty complete um, around those three core themes that came up collectively for for you all. All right. So, so let me just hold space uh, real quick, and I want to be present with each of you not something that will take long. Um, also, before I actually start that, I want you to keep in mind that something that comes up for an individual or certain aspects might resonate with, with several of you, um, and you'll find that it's relevant to you as well. Um, often these processes start to help people see the mirror reflection and uh, Certainly, some things can come into play uh, for you as well, just from hearing something that comes up for someone else. So let me feel whose energy is either hiding <laughs> or jumping. I'm just kidding. I'm just being present with the space, but give me a moment. Okay, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Were you hiding or jumping? <laughs> well, it's funny. I was waiting for you to call my name. <laughs> That's funny. Really? Weird. Wow. So you were ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's hear it. <laughs> All right. So let's hear it. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not psychically reading you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just being present with the with the with the awareness. Um, so basically, you were waiting to be called on. So for whatever reason, you were waiting. Whether oh, I know it's going to be me, <laughs> <laughs> watch it. Be, watch it's going to be me, so to speak. Um, believe it or not, this <laughs> this is actually relevant for you because there are things that you actually are waiting on. Or as Derek Rydell would say that. 
it's actually waiting with you and with it waiting with you, it's sort of weighing you down. <laughs> but in this case, it's actually a good thing because, um, you know, you are, you've been in this advancement space, this advancement energy, and actually being able to have the pause that you have has been really beneficial because even though coming back, you may feel like, oh, I've got some things stacked up against me, but actually it's, it's almost like you have created this momentum for yourself and the pause now is positioning you almost like for like a launch, like if you're launching off of a launching pad or, or I'll just use a rocket metaphor. So you're about to really launch into a new orbit, which is really good because you because of all that you've been working on. And remember, because you've actually now purchased your domain. Um, and so, yeah, if we didn't celebrate that with him on the last call, because that happened after the last call, didn't it? Uh, yes, I think if not after, it may have been yeah, just did, because the the five day challenge because you announced that I think in the five day challenge. So we need to celebrate that really quick. Um, that King Rob is the proud owner of the domain, Robert Deptford, and that's going to serve his Robert Deptford, uh, communications. Um, so basically you're actually about to get into that template. So you already have the structures set up, which I'm feeling definitely we're going to have a call around that soon. Um, so you're going to actually really be catapulting into your multidimensional tier, uh, really starting to level up for that high end uh, work. So that readiness, <laughs> that's probably why I could feel that. And you said that I, I know I'm about to be called. Um, but actually, you're about to have people who are leveling up to you and actually ready to play at this higher level. So that's why it's actually important that you have these things in place and we do start moving the energy on your higher tier offers. So, so definitely sit with that. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that resonates with me. I mean, everything I've been doing over the last month has been sort of preparing mm -hmm. and upgrading and mm -hmm. um, getting some things. Up-leveling. It's actually up-leveling. Up -leveling, let, yeah. let me speak to the distinctions of that vibration, okay? Because there is mm -hmm. actually a difference between <laughs> upgrading and up leveling because upgrading is more like giving a premium version of something that exists right and even though it may seem like that up leveling is taking it into a completely different uh category which hyenatizes it has a different vibration for influence and uh success results so it's really an up leveling versus an upgrade um i mean they kind of have the same energy so to speak but the the up leveling uh, is a higher frequency. So that's actually where you're catapulting um, at this time. So that's really, really exciting. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing more with that with you. <laughs> uh, okay, makes sense. Yeah, okay, great. All right, so. Um, okay, Tom Tom. <laughs> yeah, this ought to be interesting. <laughs> He said this ought to be interesting. So basically what's already present for you is that you've been in this deep dive. You've already sort of been in the, the dig in. Um, and there's a lot that's going on with you. But what actually needs to happen sort of during this time is a shifting in the priorities because sometimes we can dig, we can be digging deep or going deep and immersing but we could not always be immersing accurately in, in what we really need to focus on. So it's productive in getting a lot of different things done for sure that are going to make a huge difference. But there reaches a point where you have to recognize I'm in deep now. I'm working on all these different things, but what are actually the high level core focuses? Like these other things are good and they're great and they're going to be phenomenal for completion, but are they actually the things that are really going to be moving the needle towards this um, up leveling, you know, process. So that's something that, and I know you and I have a call coming up. So with this being present now, uh, that would be something I can speak to more, you know, during that call. 
but that's definitely coming. So you, you're already in, you, you've already been digging in, taking the deep dive. And again, it's not a bad thing, but there's just a, a, a shifting. So if you're navigating the waters or so, and you don't want to get caught in a coral reef, so to speak, of, of, of busyness, where it has you hung, and then you're struggling to sort of get out because you've gone in too deep in a certain process. So before that actually takes place, this is the time where you start making the shift and getting into what are the higher priority uh, initiatives for yourself uh, during this time. Cool. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. So, yeah, so like I said, I know we have our call um, coming up soon. So we'll just see what else comes up during that time. Right. Oh, Queen Renee. <laughs> I'm like Rob. I knew you're going to call me. <laughs> if I, I, started to, I started to smile going, oh, I'm next. <laughs> yeah, you felt that, huh? <laughs> yep, I did. <laughs> so that also speaks um, to where you are as well. You know, um, your energy, though, is more that. I am next in line to be highly visible. So that's something that's coming up for you. Um, high okay. level, yeah, high level visibility of it being your time to, to be seen and heard, not just seen and heard just in general, but really fully fleshing out this newer expression that's coming through for this phase, because of course it's going to be something that's continuing to uh, develop and ongoing, but there's a part that needs to already start being uh, unleashed just a little bit more. Um, nothing that you have to, you know, go full all in, so to speak, even though the core things that came up for the group collectively was about digging uh, and diving deep. Your immersion basically during this time is really within, uh, and as you keep going within, that's where you're going to pull out your own uh, treasure chest, and then you begin to look at that treasure chest of what jewels and what golden nuggets, what gems from my evolution am I here to share at this time? And so as you begin to share those online or just in your creations, what you're going to find is that it's going to bring to you a greater unfolding. It's almost like if you were on like a treasure hunt or, or a hunt that was had clues and it was leading you. So it's like each of your gems are going to lead you to this bigger expansion of yourself. So it's like uh, the pot of gold, so to speak, at the end of the rainbow, or you're just seeing these diamonds here and there, and then it leads you to this bigger tre treasure chest of yourself. Um, mm. And then you'll be able to actually present something more fully to uh, the masses as a whole. So that's, that's, that's a good feeling. <laughs> that's actually beautifully said. I like the idea of the treasure chest. That, that, that I can sit with that for different reasons, as you know, to speaking to me the last couple good. of weeks. Good. That, that, that's what came yeah, up. feels good. That feels good. Oh, great. Yeah, that's, that's what's come up. Uh, for you right now. And, you know, it actually just made me think of something because, you know, kind of retro going back, I just told you and Queen Gina what last week about reading uh, The Valuable Brand, which is actually all about uh, the extraction factor. So that's actually very timely, very synced up that that would come through for you, um, you know, now to do some deeper immersion or extraction, so to speak. Um, to bring forth that treasure chest, so. Okay, I'm making a yeah. note of that. Okay. All right. Thank King, you. you. You're right, King Joseph. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes is it, because you're basically saying yes to everything that is rightfully yours to reap during this season. <laughs> and, and And with that, as you mentioned before about, you know, having challenges, you know, with the product development, believe it or not, that's actually going to be something that you are going to share within the multiplicity space about creating different levels of products um, in a multiplicity type of way. So that's something that we will be 
make, we'll talk about that more in our call this coming week, um, which makes perfect sense to me. And the more I'm just kind of being present, you know, with this is because you haven't had, well, you only have this, the one product. So there's like a lot that's going to come through you uh, right now. And so basically, like I said, you said yes. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is because believe it or not, some of the initial feelings that you all are having are really speaking to, um, to where you are. And I'm able to sort of, you know, translate that vibration, so to speak, that it just syncs up with the movement. Um, and for him primarily, because of all the advancement energy and also a clearing. Now, this is interesting because it's almost like I feel like a cloud, um, you know, almost like when it's cloudy and then you can see the sun. So basically, a lot of clarity is going to be coming through for you on how to continue to move some things forward in an accelerated way. Because even with all the stuff that you're working on and you're high energizing and, and repositioning things for your website, I, I can feel that there's still been a little bit of not necessarily heavy confusion or a fog, so to speak, but definitely some uncertainty. So a cloud sort of breaking through or the sun coming out um, is, is going to be extremely helpful for you. Uh, during this time. So you can definitely expect that you'll be getting more ahas, more clarity around certain things, um, and actually surprise yourself at some of the ideas that pop up for you. And then you'll feel guided to say, you know, I got to share about this because this is more simpler than people uh, can imagine. And then when you, you're seeing this for yourself, it's like, wow, you know, all these years I've actually could have been doing this, not from a judgmental standpoint or anything, but it's just that revelation of, uh, I'm ready to make this, I can do this. Uh, and whether it's a, a timing issue, timing won't be an issue because it'll just reveal to you how you can get these things done um, in the simplest format. So that's something, I'm glad this is on recording <laughs> so I can go back and listen to it. And then when we uh, speak this coming week in, in some of the things that are emerging, then I can start to incorporate, um, you know, some of this wisdom and insight that has come, that has come through. But you're definitely all in on your yes. Um, and I feel that you're not really wanting to withhold anything at this point that is trying to come, you know, trying to come through. So you're going to have a lot of no's too. And when I say a lot of no's means some things that you're saying no to so that you can honor uh, the stronger yes. So I'll kind of sit with that a little bit more, but I'm going to kind of move um, move on so we can get to everything else in the call. Um, but I'm with you on your yes, because I'm feeling that all the way uh, and also seeing those mounds get the grass on them. <laughs> it is grass time. Is it not? Exactly. Exactly. So you with your yes? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Great. Well, before I move forward, did you have anything you wanted to say? Um, or you're good? I'm good. I think that's very, very clear and will become clearer as time moves on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. Because that clarity is going to be unfolding, like I, like I mentioned uh, before. Okay. Queen Gina. <laughs> Well, I thought you were coming to me next because there's nobody else left. <laughs> <laughs> so do we take that as seven, saving the best for last or did it just default? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think that uh, yeah. there's, there's no best, is there? <laughs> no, there, no. It, all is, it is all the best, actually. You That's know. Right. So um, everything syncs up in its, in its right timing. Um, so give me a moment to be present with you, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, so new shifts. <laughs> so this is a good spot for you because you are leveling up a lot of what you've been doing and now that you've actually brought the enlightened leadership 
uh, formats and some different levels and bringing in the acceleration, what you're going to find is that you're going to actually be making some huge shifts through enlightenment yourself to get more into a lot of the newer, higher end energy. Is you're, What you're already doing is already supporting that, but it is more of the stepping stones, you know, to getting there. But because you've actually been diligent with putting together the things that you've been putting together and creating this momentum, um, you know, for yourself, now that you actually have these newer structures in place that you can start to leverage and the templates that you're working uh, from, now the other side of the track is inviting you to sort of dive in. Um, and that's where a lot of my guidance is obviously going to help in that because you may not initially know where, you know, where do I get started with this? Uh, yeah. So that will be something that we'll be talking about. Um, also, because you watched the, the video with uh, Victor Odo, and I believe he mentioned, you know, something about being in that high state of trust during this time and, you know, not necessarily seeing all of the big picture, but understanding and knowing something's calling you forth and you just have to keep taking those steps towards that. So moving into that space and just going ahead and saying, uh, going back to even King Joseph's energy of the yes, going ahead and saying yes to what you don't even fully understand. This is what's going to start to not just transition you, but catapult you into this new stream of limitless uh, possibilities, which is then going to bring you more wisdom and insight of how to start working with um, this overarching umbrella, the new higher expanded umbrella, which then that actually puts you sort of in the same energy as King Rob, where it's, it's like go time for him into uh, that newer stream. So that would be something, like I said, we'll have some conversation. Uh, we'll have some conversation around. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So, yeah, definitely, like I said, the new shift for you um, because not – okay, so, okay, here we go. Because actually – this is the time to be doing it because now if you, if you well, I'm not going to speak to if you don't. I'm just going to state what needs to be stated. <laughs> yeah, it is time to shift. <laughs> yeah, it is time to shift into that so that there's not the process of getting um, hung or caught up in a loop of actually starting to continuously develop things that are already there and, you know, creating a bigger expansion for them it's fine that you're doing that and that's exactly what you need to be doing, what you should have been doing, okay, up into this point. But now the attention's got to shift into this limitless, um, the umbrella vantage point of it, okay? So like I said, with that, you'll end up giving Paul sort of on massively developing some of the things that are already there where you're going to flow your attention now to this bigger umbrella. And then once that is Sort of more solidified, then you'll be able to come back to those other things, um, if that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. That, that's a lot to mm -hmm. think about, but yeah, it, it feels right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. So we are.